the role of special observer is unique. I think through my mind is, you know, what if we do get caught? What, what is my plan to get out of that situation? And I think it's almost like um, when you play hide and seek. Their job is to march up to 100 kilometres ahead of the front line, deep into enemy territory, and in the dead of night, construct observation posts in buildings, bushes or underground. Then they must watch and wait, silently logging the enemy's every move and feeding it back to command. The information they send will be crucial. First, they must learn to march long distance and build their observation posts by day. Most importantly, we need to be able to uh, speak to people and observe people. Um, next, most important is that obviously nobody sees us. Uh, that's usually achieved by picking the most uh, horrible, inaccessible place we can find, <laughs> a place where nobody else is likely to just uh, go by. So the prickliest bush? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, gauze bushes are particularly good for this kind of training. Um, they are really awful to try and get into, <laughs> but they do provide quite a lot of good cover uh, once you're inside. And they also they are evergreen, so they can use them all year round. Uh, so a lot of the other vegetation stuff will die off. The soldiers must cover their tracks at every stage, so ponchos protect the ground around whilst the post is constructed. The inside of the bush is hollowed out and hasties made of chicken wire and hessian are dragged inside. These will form the roof of the shelter, protect them from the elements and hide them from enemy thermo imaging. The aim is to be completely invisible from just five metres away. What we're trying to alleviate is not to cut or move anything from the front because that's the, the front end that's facing the target area. Quackers, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So he's in the, the, bush. In the bush. Yeah, so um, generally um, I can just about make them out because they haven't finished and completed. How can they make sure that they're not seen when inside the bush? So slowing their movement down and slowing the noise down. Shiny things as well? And shiny things, yes. His BFA, that needs to be cammed up. The watches, they, they'll obviously, um, put, yeah, or they'll turn them inside out, yeah, around the rest there. Chap man, just looking at your colour now that you've put in. So you've put this camouflage in. Yeah. And then look at the bush, it's like darker green. This is like a sun bleach lime green. If someone was to walk past now, they'd notice that colour change. And you've got the cobwebs here, trying not to break those. So when you, as you've arrived, is how you want to be inside it. Inside, the bush observation post is almost complete. Once in position, the four-man teams must be self-sufficient for up to 10 days, during which they face hours and hours of watching in total stillness and silence. It's no easy way of taking the boredom away and, and each individual has their own way of keeping their mind occupied. I like to probably think of a song, um, Shotgun, you know, Aqua springs to mind as well, um, <laughs> Barbie Girl. Uh, <laughs> it's not for everyone. Um, a lot of people don't just like being confined in, in that one environment, but the actual ess the essence of going out and then finding that target and then reporting it back, you know that what you're pushing back is critical information. What you say, there's it can change the entire picture of, a, of essentially a war. Four blokes in a bush. <laughs> the role of the special observer is highly skilled, high risk and critical. From their bramble bush or hole in the ground, the special observers have the power to call in arms fire or scramble jets. The students on this course will carry great responsibility in future operations. Mm.